a lot of that seems distant and detached. But what isn't distant and detached and what is in this text isn't necessarily that we don't need to take one another to the physical courthouse, but many of us take people who have offended us, we take them to court in the court of public opinion, we display our angst and our wounded feelings, not before an unbelieving judge, but before our friends and our family on our Facebook feed or Twitter profile. We display and broadcast to the world that so-and-so has done this and it's outrageous, how could they ever? I can't believe that they would do this, that, or the other. And, and we, what we do is we manipulate circumstances. We will twist the talking points so that people will take our side and they won't take the other person's side. And so many times this has to do with people who've wounded us and those people are the very brothers and sisters in Christ that we do fellowship with, with in this church. And what Paul would say to that is, don't take them to court, uh, the court of public opinion, on your Facebook feed, behind their back. Uh, When you do that, what you're doing is you're displaying to the world, you're basically saying to everyone, the gospel has absolutely no impact on my life when it comes to my relationships. What I say I believe about Jesus dying on the cross for my sins and providing for me a, a power and a peace and a freedom that has revolutionized every part of my life, it's revolutionized my marriage, revolutionized my way that I parent, it's revolutionized all these things in my life. When you begin to take it out on another person, when you begin to air out your dirty laundry on Facebook in front of the whole world for everyone to see, you're basically communicating and broadcasting to everyone, the gospel has absolutely no impact on my personal relationships. So be careful where you fight and pick the right referee. Your Facebook friend list is not a proper referee for settling disputes with people who offend you. Few things impair the witness of the church or the spread of the gospel more than broken relationships between believers. Few things slow down the advance of the gospel more than when you and another Christian have a severance in the relationship, and instead of coming together face to face and settling your disputes, you go to your camp, they go to their camp, you spin the talking points, you build up incredible division between the two of you, and you show the world the gospel has no impact on our relationship. It's inevitable that someone is going to hurt you. Obviously, Christians are not perfect. But what does not have to be inevitable is the slander and the backbiting and the gossip and the division that so often takes place between believers. What Paul is saying is you've been given this power, you've been given this responsibility to display the gospel with your life, Uh, so do that whenever you experience a grievance with another Christian.